Right now, questions remain. What sent detectives to the woods of Alabama in search of a missing five-year-old Florida girl? Just hours ago, authorities revealed they believe remains found in Marengo County, Alabama are that of Taylor Williams. Meantime, more than 450 miles away in Jacksonville, her mom is now facing charges. News 6's Nikki Zizaza is closely monitoring the latest on this, and Nikki detectives say this case is complicated. Yes, Lisa, complicated because investigators say they are still collecting evidence in this case without the cooperation of Taylor Williams' mother after she reported her daughter missing. Tonight, investigators say Brianna Williams is facing felony charges for child neglect and giving false information, all as she recovers from an apparent overdose in the hospital. In a news conference Tuesday afternoon, investigators announced their search for five-year-old Taylor Rose Williams turned up the worst news. Six days after her mother reported her missing from their Jacksonville home. So this investigation has led us to what we believe to be the remains of Taylor Rose. Investigators say they found the remains in this heavily wooded area in Alabama. This comes after ground searches and tips turned up empty. The only thing more disturbing is who investigators arrested in connection to her disappearance. The mother of Taylor Williams has been arrested this evening on charges of child neglect and giving false information to investigators during the search for Taylor. Williams family troubled by the latest development. I still say I, that's not her. I still say something wrong could need to be straightened out and I wish everything would come on out and get it over with so we can go on. on. Sheriff Mike Williams telling our new six partner WJXT Brianna Williams stopped cooperating with the investigation after the first day of the search and say on Tuesday the 27 year old mother was flown to a hospital for an apparent overdose. It appears to be an overdose or she's ingested something we don't know as of yet. Now at last check, the victim identification is still pending forensic tests right now. Investigators are asking the public for any bit of information surrounding the little girl's disappearance, no matter how minor or seemingly unrelated to the case the tip may be. Live in the newsroom, Nikki Zizaza getting results, News 6. Nikki, thank you.